Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use my pairwise comparison voting calculator. So we're given this preference summary, which is just a list of how many people ranked candidates in a certain way. And we're going to determine the winner by pairwise comparison just by plugging the information into my online calculator. So first, let's talk about how to access the calculator. So you're going to go to uh, Miss Hearn math.com and look for the button that says free calculators. Click on that and then you're going to select the calculator that says pairwise comparison vote calculator. Click on that and that's going to bring you to this page and this is where we're going to enter our preference summary. This particular page is for three options. Let's take a look at how many options are on our preference summary. Our preference summary has options A, B, C, and D. So that's four options or candidates. So let's go ahead and select the tab for four options. And now we can see here it says to enter the number of ballots and to enter the rankings underneath that. So for example, for 102 of the ballots, option A was ranked one, option B was ranked two, option C was ranked three, and option D was ranked four. We're going to continue entering Now I've entered all of my rankings. If there were more, I could continue. This calculator can take up to 10 ballot variations. You can go down to the bottom here and scroll to the right and you can see that there are six more possible entries. But if you don't have more ballot options, just leave them as zero. As I was typing this in, you will notice the pairwise comparison matrix was populating. So what this is telling me is that A beat B, 219 ballots to 185, it beat C 308 to 96, and it beat D 287 to 117. Based on this pairwise comparison matrix, the calculator has determined that option A should have three points, option B two points, option C zero points, and option D one point. This is based on one point for every head-to-head -head win. So if you compare the candidates pair by pair, every time a candidate wins over another candidate, they get a point. Or if they tie, they get a half of a point. In this case, option A is the winner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.